welcome River Valley Class of 2020 parents and family members. I am Mr. Barry Dutt, I'm the River Valley High School principal, and I am so privileged to be here to host the virtual award ceremony. This evening, we will be recognizing our entire senior class, their accomplishments, and also highlighting some special awards. So I hope you enjoy the program over the next few minutes. We will begin the program this evening with our valedictorians. The class of 2020 has four valedictorians, and they are Allie Dutt, Melanie Amy, Olivia Kirk, and Morgan Stiff. dedication and hard work that they put in over this past four years. Congratulations again to our class valedictorians. Our next special award this evening is our salutatorian. This year's salutatorian for the class of 2020 is Caitlin Grant. Caitlin, I congratulate and applaud the dedication you've shown over the last four years. Please enjoy some more of our 2020 graduates.
next special award is our top 10% of the class of 2020. These individuals have had to work not only in the classroom, but also balancing a schedule of academics, extracurricular, as well as holding down jobs. So we want to take this special moment to congratulate this group, our top 10% of the class of 2020. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and thank you for your dedication here at River Valley. And now, here is another group of our 2020 graduates.
Our next special award is our Honors Diploma recipients. These individuals have worked extremely hard over the past four years to receive this recognition. Again, congratulations to our Honors Diploma recipients. Our next award is our Four Year Perfect Attendance Award. I thought it was appropriate to give that award from this location. In the mornings, teachers, administrators, stand here. We encourage you to get to class on time. I want to hurry up and recognize these four-year award winners before a certain teacher ushers me out of the middle of the hallway. Congratulations to those that were able to achieve four years of perfect attendance. And now for another group of the 2020 graduates.
students who have been up and down these stairs for four years. Our next special awards are our departmental awards for English, Science, and Social Studies. Hello, this is Lisa Holloway, junior English teacher at River Valley High School. And this year, we have chosen a student to receive the English Department Award for Excellence. Um, and we feel that he has exemplified this um, uh, model student for our department for four years. I had the pleasure of having him in class last year in junior English, um, but all of us have seen this uh, gentleman progress and we are very proud to make the announcement of who will receive the award. I'm Mrs. Jordan, freshman English teacher. And I didn't have this student um, as much as some of the others, but I did get to know him in a speech class, and that is where he excels. He is such an eloquent speaker. Um, he can debate off the spur of the moment, and he will excel no matter what he chooses to do. And uh, I actually had the pleasure of having this student the most. I had him in creative writing. I had him in English communication in English 12. Uh, and I had the pleasure of reading the creative stuff that he decided to write. And I got to watch him speak and even uh, got to ask him to represent our school at the Rotary speech contest this year. And he won first place. And that makes it pretty obvious to me and maybe to him. But our department award goes to uh, Carson Craig. Congratulations. Congratulations, Carson. Congratulations, Carson. Hello, I'm Mr. McGuire, biology teacher and department head at River Valley High School. I'm here to award the uh, Science Achievement Medallion to our recipient which was selected by the entire high school staff. Uh, our award winner this year was Addie Rollins. So Addie, congratulations. This is my simulated uh, presentation of the uh, ribbon and medallion. So duck your head in there, get your hat in. Okay, congratulations. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., we are not makers of history, we are made by history. You put in the hard work and you made your path to success. Congratulations. Every year, we in the social studies department are so lucky to be blessed by so many talented social studies students. And when it comes time for the senior year and they ask for the senior honor medallion, it's always a very difficult choice. This year's winner was a phenomenal student uh, throughout all of her social studies classes and throughout school in general. She's a wonderful young woman. She's got a bright future ahead of her. And we're very proud to announce that this year's social studies honor medallion winner is Morgan Stith. Congratulations, Morgan. And congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to those students. Our next departmental award are for math, family, consumer science, and foreign language. Congratulations, class of 2020. And the 2020 math departmental award goes to Melanie Amy. I have chose for the Family and Consumer Sciences Department Award is one of the most hardworking students that I've ever seen. She is also so trustworthy and an amazing role model to the other students in my class. Not only that, she has been an amazing help to me during my first year of teaching. Aside from being an amazing person, she has taken every single Family and Consumer Sciences course, received the highest grade, and even received a perfect score on the state test for my class. The person that has won the Family and Consumer Sciences Department Award is Emma Teal. Hey 
Hey River Valley, it's Mr. Davis here and I'm here to announce the Foreign Language Department Award winner for this year is Kajal Desai. Congratulations. Congratulations to those students. Our next departmental awards are for visual arts and music. This year's Visual Arts Award goes to one of the most talented, creative, and unique individuals that I've ever had the chance to teach. She is always up for a new challenge. Um, this student is always looking for ways to better her problem-solving skills. Um, she never sees a challenge and thinks that she cannot achieve um, an end result out of it. And what she normally starts with, she completely changes by the time that she gets done with the project. Um, and that's one of the coolest things that I get to witness in this student um, is that she just truly embraces um, every obstacle and challenge that she's faced and she turns it and spins it so that it ends up being um, just totally her. And I am very excited that I get to announce that Bailey Schuff is this year's Visual Arts Award. Congratulations, Bailey. Class of 2020, I'm Mr. House, and I have the honor of representing the music department in this award ceremony. This year's music department award winner is a multi-instrumentalist who not only plays her instruments proficiently, but very musically as well. This year's music department award recipient is Miss Caitlin Grant. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to those students. And now our next special departmental awards are for computer science, agriculture, industrial technology, and vocational. The student who has been selected for the 2020 Agriculture Award has displayed high academic achievement, integrity, and overall growth in the program. It has been my distinct pleasure to watch this young man grow into the leader that he is today. Please join me in congratulating student Jackson Crawford. Hello and greetings, congratulations to the class of 2020. The recipient of the class's Industrial Technology Award to the student that has taken uh, at least four industrial technology credits over their high school career is Mr. Xavier Dingwall. Congratulations, Xavier. You, uh, there's nobody more deserving of this award than you. You're a, you're a true craftsman. You started out my class as a sophomore and uh, you went up through the ranks taking the class uh, to different heights for sure. Take care of yourself, take care of your hands. Uh, we're gonna create great things in this world. Congratulations again, and thank you for being part of my class. Here are some more of our 2020 graduates.
Hello, River Valley Viking seniors, family, and friends. My name is Lori Stevens, and I'm here tonight to award the first ever Logan Stevens Memorial Scholarship Fund. I'd like to read the letter that we posted with the Marion Community Foundation about Logan's scholarship. The scholarship was created by something that began as a horrible accident, but as tragedy often does, brought a community together. Logan Richard Stevens, a student of both Harding and River Valley High Schools, died in a car accident in July of 2018. He was a son, a brother, grandchild, cousin, nephew, and to many a friend. Logan was a typical teenager who enjoyed video games, good music, baseball, basketball, and his ever-expanding shoe collection. He devoted his life to the Lord and was living in a way that reflected that. Logan joined the baseball team at River Valley when he changed schools and had been in baseball since he was four years old. Following his death, a community came together to grieve the loss. Shirts were created reading Stand Together and a game that was normally reserved for rivalry celebrated the life of their good friend. The proceeds of this fundraiser, along with support from family and friends, helped make this scholarship possible. My family created this scholarship not only to preserve his memory, but to help others follow their dreams <clears throat> and remember the importance of doing what they love. Follow your dreams, fulfill your purpose, and love life. Now for all you seniors, I'd like to thank all of you for all you do. You were born into this world during 9-11, and now you're graduating during COVID-19. You have all had trials and tribulations, but I want you to remember one thing. You are your own persons. Be proud of who you are. Find your purpose in life. Live it, love it, and own it. Do something you love, not just for the money. I am so, so proud of all of you. We all are. I have come to know a lot more of you since Logan's death, and I wish the best for all of you. Now to tell you about the first ever recipient for the first Logan Stevens Memorial Scholarship Fund. First, I'd like to list her activities. She is a devoted member of her church and youth group. With her church and on her own or with teams, she has done such services as visiting and singing in nursing homes, volunteering in the local soup kitchen, helping make Night to Shine Prom, a night to remember for others. She made blankets for patients in the hospital, helping during Christmas and Lent functions in the community, making care packages for people in impoverished countries, and helped, ra made, helped raise money for wells to be made in these countries by carrying five gallon buckets of water three quarters of a mile to know what it's like to do this as others do. In school, she played one year of band playing percussion, freshman year cross country with varsity letter and honorable mention, all conference, one year FFA receiving the Green Hand Award, three years soccer with varsity lettering and being captain junior and senior year, freshman and junior year basketball with varsity letter, Four years indoor and outdoor track, being the captain junior and senior years. Trained at the pole vault gym and club three times a week. <clears throat> Every year letter and two-time top jumper award. Sixth at state in pole vault with an all Ohio athlete award. Two times third team all district, two times all city player two times second team all conference, three times second team all conference, 
first team all district and two times second team all district. And she's been in 4-H since third grade, <coughs> being a camp counselor for four years and helping out at Clover Bud Day Camps. Her personal statement read, ever since I was a little girl, people have always told me, whatever I wanna do, I'm going to do. And whatever I, whatever I don't want to do, good luck with making me. Pole vaulting has been the thing I have been invested most of my time and effort into for the past six years. Every day in training, I try to keep in mind the reason why I'm training so hard and doing everything I do. Because I want to achieve my goals and I'm going to do everything in my control to get there. I plan to major in exercise science and minor in business. Wow. <laughs> Well, I just want you to know how very, very proud I am of you. And you deserve this scholarship for sure. I'm glad you knew Logan and can accept the scholarship from him. I'm glad I've gotten to know you. And if y'all haven't figured it out by now, this year's Logan Stevens Scholarship goes to Gemma Stars. I love you, Gemma, and I wish you the best. And if you ever need anything, I'm here. Thank you so much. Go Vikings. Now let's hear some horns honking. During this virtual recognition, you can see we have such a great group of graduates this year. Graduates, thank you for what you've done for River Valley High School. Parents, family, and friends, thank you for the support of those graduates, as well as your support for the school. Graduates, the accomplishments don't stop here. Take these talents and skills that you have acquired over these past 13 years and apply them to the world around you and the people you come in contact with each and every day. I challenge you to make this world a better place through what you are passionate I consider it an honor to have been part of your educational career. And one last thing, go Vikes. And one last note is about senior superlatives. Our seniors always look forward to those. Seniors, those will be emailed to your school email address soon. I wanna thank you for watching the River Valley Class of 2020 Awards Recognition. River Valley Class of 2020. It was so hard to end the school year without getting to say goodbye. We are so proud of everything you have done over these years and the things that you will do in the future. This is just a small way for us to say how much we appreciate you and wish you luck in your the years to come. Hi guys, congratulations to the Class of 2020. I usually spend graduation day walking up and down the aisles, getting you guys all lined up for your big day. Obviously, this year is different. I'm so sorry I can't hug each one of you and tell you individually how proud I am of you. It seems like forever ago you were babies in my classroom, even if I didn't have you. You have all grown up tremendously. You all have great potential, I know you will do great things with wonderful futures ahead of you. You're off to great places.
Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. In the words of Dr. Seuss. Congratulations and best wishes to all of you for a wonderful future. Make sure you stop in and say hi when you're in town. Congratulations, class of 2020. I feel so blessed to have been part of your high school career. I've had the opportunity to see you in the hallway, in the classrooms, work during performances and competitions. I've even been following this class very close since the sixth grade. And I can truly say it is a talented class. This past week, I've had the opportunity to see many of you one last time in the hallway, in your caps and gowns as you prepared for your individual ceremonies. That was a, a great feeling that warmed my heart to see you in the school one last time. I wanna wish you all the best of luck as you pursue your dreams, your goals, and your passions. Congratulations, class of 2020, and go Vikes! Class of 2020, you made it to the end. You are ready to embark upon your new journey and your bright futures. I'm so very proud of all of you and all of your accomplishments, your resiliency and how you've weathered all of these challenges the last four years, ups and downs. I remember you on freshman day, so excited and nervous, and now you're graduating. Congratulations. I want all of you to shoot for the moon because even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. And please, always remember that we are proud of you and we wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2020. You will always be remembered. Congratulations, 2020 Vikings. You are really a very special class and have faced some challenges with tenacity and grace. And you really hold a special place in my heart. You really are a very special class. You've got this. Now go out there and make your mark on this world. And we know you will. Thank you for everything you've done and all that you put up with this year. Good luck. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys are a very special class to me. I enjoyed having you in American government, joking around with you in the halls, or coaching you on the baseball field. To the spring athletes who didn't get to have their season, I just want you guys to know that you are champions to all of us. Something to remember for life is to be happy. Find a career that makes you happy. Be around friends and family that make you happy. Find hobbies and interests and special causes that make you happy. If you do all that, you will have a wonderful life. As far as facing adversity, when life knocks you down, every time get back up better, stronger, and more prepared for the next round. I'm proud of each one of you. Have a wonderful life and stay in touch. Go class of 2020. Hello class of 2020. You've made it the end of your senior year. While things may not have ended as anyone planned, it does not change how everyone feels about your accomplishments. I'm very proud of you. I know that you will go on to be extraordinary. Please keep in mind, the best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been, and the memories we've made along the way. May your life be filled with much love and memories. I wish you the best as you embark on this journey of life. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2020. Whether you were in a small quirky class, a large silent class that never wanted to speak when I asked questions, or a large class that was noisy all the time, I still remember you guys as a pretty mellow group of kids. Um, you've grown up quite a bit over the years, physically, uh, mentally, academically, um, emotionally. At the beginning of high school, you might have been about my size. Now most of you tower over me. Um, when you were in my class, most of you were just starting to learn how to drive, and now you're going off on your own adventures and starting out life of your own. Um, you've experienced losses and successes as a class and as individuals, and these things will shape you and will connect you to your home. Um, no matter what, remember that there are always people here who care about you. Bit of wisdom, uh, three things that I want you to remember. 
always think for yourself. All right, take in all the information you can, look at both sides and make up your own minds. Live life to its fullest and invest yourself in what you do. I'm gonna share a couple of Fahrenheit 451 quotes because I mean, come on guys, I'm an English teacher and a nerd that supports these. Stuff your eyes with wonder, see the world. It's more fantastic than any dream made or paid for in factories. And it doesn't matter what you do so long as you change something from the way it was before you touched it into something that's like you after you take your hands away. Make your mark on the world. Congrats. River Valley High School Class of 2020. Each year before I leave my house to attend the graduation ceremony, I stuff my purse with tissues and go a little light on my mascara. I do this because I know that before the ceremony even begins, there will inevitably be a few graduates nervously trying to get in the right order for the procession and need a hug, a smile, or even a stick of gum. It also happens that some graduates will make eye contact with me during the actual ceremony as they walk past my chair, some even stopping for one last cruisy hug emergency or to whisper that I've made a difference in their lives. I know that will more than likely be the last day I will see them and it brings tears to my eyes. It makes me sad that I never got the chance for that last day, that last opportunity to be with you. Mr. Stuckman has always teased me about being cheerful at graduation, that a new batch of students will enter the high school next year. True, there will be new cruisy kids added to the flock next year, but they won't replace you. There will always be a special place in my heart for you, the River Valley High School Class of 2020. Wishing you happiness in the years ahead. Make me proud. To the graduating class of 2020, I know this year has looked nothing like any of you could have ever expected, but I can assure you of one thing. You have personally impacted me. I have watched you grow into leaders, demonstrating tenacity, grit, and endurance, and it is profound. I am incredibly proud. River Valley Class of 2020, congratulations on graduating. I want to wish you good luck in whatever you choose to do. The members of your class have accomplished some incredible goals, and I'm glad I could be just a small part of your journey at River Valley. I will miss seeing you roaming the halls and yelling at you to get out of the middle of those hallways. Congratulations, and go Vikes. Congratulations, River Valley Class of 2020. You've had quite an interesting end to your high school career. Nonetheless, you're about to receive something that symbolizes all of the hard work and effort that you've put in for the last 13 years. And it's something that no one can take away from you. So grab that diploma and follow the advice of Walt Disney, who once said, all of our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Start chasing your dreams. Your adventure awaits. Congratulations again. I want to start off by telling you how proud I am of everything that you have accomplished here at River Valley. Um, I remember when you guys first came in the building four years ago and thinking, wow, this is going to be a fun, crazy, loud, obnoxious class. Um, but when it comes down to it, you guys always know how to work and get everything done, and I couldn't be more proud to be a part of your guys' journey through high school. Um, it really sucks that we can't be there to, to celebrate in a normal graduation fashion, but I hope that you guys um, enjoy these little videos that we've put together for you. Um, we truly love you, we are proud of you, and we can't wait to see where the next steps lead you in life. Um, remember that you'll always have a family here at River Valley. Congratulations and best wishes. Hi guys. Congratulations to all of you. Best of luck in the future. I'm so proud of all of you guys. Peace out. Hi seniors. I just want to wish you all the best of luck. I know we've had a very strange end to your high school career, but I am seeing great potential in you and I really, really enjoyed this class and I wish all the best for you. Have a great time, a great life. Stay cool, stay careful, stay happy, and I hope to see you in the future. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. I know this isn't the way that anyone intended for your senior year to end. However, just know that everyone at River Valley is incredibly proud of each and every one of you. Um, I just wanted to take this time to thank those I did get to know over this past year for all the incredible memories and lots of help. Um, once again, congrats everyone, and I wish you all the best of luck. Hey guys, uh, nice job getting your work done. Remember, enrolled, enlisted, or employed. Uh, good luck out there and go get them. Well, class of 2020, I'd like to congratulate you for uh, being, uh, well, for graduating this year. Um, it's a unprecedented time. It'll certainly go down in history. Um, I, I wanted to end my career on a little better note as well as you ending your high school career. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of funny if we all graduated at the same time. But uh, congratulations. Good luck in the future. Uh, I hope if anything, the classes you took in high school gave you something you can use later on in life. I know uh, many of you liked, many of you didn't like uh, the way I did things, but realize that I cared for you. I want you to achieve great things in your life. And the only way to do that is to be uh, self-dependent. So good luck. I'm sorry we didn't get to spend more time together and go out on a better note, but I will miss you. How will I remember the class of 2020? Ornery, genuine, engaging, honest, fun, and refreshing. Honestly, you guys have accomplished a lot. I'm excited for all of you as you move on. I miss being able to say goodbye in person, uh, but I still wanted to give you two short quotes. One is a poem and one is a joke. I'll let you figure out which one is which. My life has been a poem I would have writ by Henry David Thoreau. My life has been a the poem I would have written, but I could not both live and utter it. The other quote here is from Jack Handy. If trees would scream, would we be so cavalier about cutting them down? We might, if they screamed all the time for no good reason. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, class of 2020. It seems like just yesterday you were walking the halls as freshmen. I am so proud of each and every one of you, whether I had you in class or I was just able to talk to you in the hallways. No one could imagine a global pandemic to end your senior year, but you all made it. You put in the hard work to make this day possible, and I have no doubt that you will all be successful in the future. Congratulations. <laughs>